Hey, it's me, and it's the end of the year. As is tradition around here, I like to do a ranking video at the end of the year. If you are not caught up on my videos for 2022, chop chop. <laughs> Go watch all of those first because you're gonna see a lot of spoilers in the olden days of my channel. I just did a squishy ranking video, but as the years have gone on, I've included a lot more variety of projects in what I do on my channel. So today I am going to be doing a ranking video of every single thing, everything that I've made in 2022. Every thing. I made many things. So this video is going to take a minute. I had a lot of struggle ranking all of these things. How do you compare a piece of digital art to a beaded keychain? It makes it very difficult to rank them and people always have a lot of energy for disagreeing with my order of things and saying, no, you shouldn't have ranked that so low. Why did you put this one so high on the list? That one actually sucked. There's a lot of that. I asked myself a few questions while trying to rank my projects. How long did it take? What is my emotional connection? How upset would I be if it burned in a fire? It's not an easy thing to do. Okay, so if you wanna do it next year, very opinionated friend that's yelling at me, come on and do it and see how many people are yelling at you. I promise there will be some, because nobody's ever happy. Anyway, one more thing before I get started. I do want to say that I will not be here next week. Whoa, 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 whoa. Every single year I take off the first Friday in January just to give me a little bit of flex room during the holidays so I can actually take some time off. I will not be posting next week. Tell your friends, tell your minister. <laughs> He doesn't care. But I will be back January 13th. I have quite a big project planned. We'll get there when we get there. There are a couple holes here and there where I've taken stuff down that is in this video, but um, all of this stuff was created in years before 2022. I feel like some of these are really recent. I guess they're not. There are 56 items in total of things that I've made this year. If that does not sound like that many, you're right. It doesn't sound like that many to me. I did group things together, so that's skews the numbers a little bit. Also, I did do some videos this year where I didn't make anything like my unboxing videos or my Q&A or blah, 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 et cetera, et cetera. I am including everything in this video from squishies, drawings, paintings, customizations, crafts, digital art, everything except my baking stuff. I'm not including those. First of all, because I don't have them anymore. They were consumed partially. Everything else that I made, I am including in this video. I hope, I think. We start with number 56, the biggest loser of the group. And here it is. Oh, this year's big loser. Everyone, applause, please, applause. Let's celebrate the losers. They deserve it. No, they don't. That's the point. This squishy is my least favorite thing that I have painted all year long. Sometimes the biggest loser is like, uh, are they, are they not? No, this is the biggest loser by far. It is horrible in every way. I was literally blindfolded when I painted this. So I have an excuse for this atrocity being in existence. Number 55 is this candy apple. This is a super simple design, honestly. I completely forgot that it existed because it just doesn't mean that much to me. Number 54 is this cat trinket dish. Ah, this is a very recent make. I can't even blame it on, oh, it was a long time ago. No, this was like a couple weeks ago. There are things about this that I like. I really like the idea of it. I really like the fact that the eyes include the entire rainbow. It's just, it doesn't all fit together. I just can't bring myself to love this one. Number 53 is this whack piece of art. This is completely scary. I made this using those weird magic markers. I actually did have a lot of fun using those. So I don't have hostile feelings toward this one. It was just a fun thing though, and I don't really take it that seriously. So it ends up pretty low on the list. Similarly, number 52 is the other piece of art that I did using those magic markers. This one I think is slightly better because at least it kind of makes sense and it doesn't look like the whole world is burning like that one. But still, it's just not something that I really think is deserving of a super high rank. Number 51 is a tiny, this is just just a little beaded keychain that I made. It's just a cute craft. Number 50 is much the same thing. I like them. They're cute. They make little 
beady sounds, which is very pleasant. Number 49 is this pink bear head macaron thing. This was also a three color challenge. Those always turn out pretty weird. Number 48 is the only thing that I did in my sketchbook this year. That's horrible. Eh, I really did try with this one and it's not even that good. There's just several things about it that kind of bother me. It's just not gonna make it. Number 47 is my seashell squishy. I did something weird on the back with the colors. It's kind of cool, but also makes me slightly uncomfortable. This one is weird because this side is like super generic and then this side is like not generic enough. It has me confused. 46 is my squishy version of speckles or spot as I renamed it because it doesn't do justice to Speckles. Speckles was a character that I painted. A lot of people wanted to see me make her into a squishy. I tried. I like everything about it except for the eyes. The squishy Speckles eyes, I just could not get to look right. Number 45 is this one and I don't even really know what to say about it because what? Even, do you guys remember me painting this? I did that? There's really nothing that I don't like about it. At the same time, I clearly didn't really connect with it all that much. Kind of an odd one. Number 44 is my painting of Meraki, the creature that Jackie and I invented together in our collab video. It's cute and it brings back good memories, but it's definitely a more simplistic thing that I've done this year and something that I didn't spend as much time on. Okay, and now is where I'm starting to get into the stuff that I actually quite like. Like. Number 43 is my set of character Easter eggs. I think that they came out really cute and I really liked the idea. All credits go to me. I think it was my idea. I haven't seen anyone else do it, but don't call me out if there is. I didn't see it. Number 42 is my little door hanger that I decorated from the dollar store. I actually don't use it. <laughs> I used it for a solid month and then I ended up replacing my door handle with a fingerprint reader. <laughs> get nervous about having my art room just open. Occasionally there are like children over here running around. I just felt the need to secure and lock down my space a little bit better. These are the most valuable possessions that I own. Number 41 is Frank the Stank the Squishy. A little while ago I kept bringing up Frank the Skunk that lives in my backyard. He's been MIA for a while. I am kind of scared. I am concerned. What happened to Frank? If we don't see him again I'm sure he just moved. I'm sure that nothing actually happened to him. Anyway, a lot of you guys wanted me to make a squishy version of Frank. I do like how he came out, he's cute. Number 40 is my set of sky bear ship clips. <laughs> I like the idea of these a lot and I did bring them back later. There was a little scandal because the original chip clips were tigers and I just said cats. I think these are supposed to be cats. And everyone was just so horrified and upset because we've all seen the pink and gray tigers that are running around in the wild. It's ridiculous that I didn't recognize that. I'm very sorry. Next is my little Christmas creation, Santa Blob. Tell me how this sing Singular blob beats all of them. This might be a little skewed because I just made him and I'm like kind of infatuated right now because he's so new. There were quite a few little hissy fits thrown over the fact that I destroyed that original really cute penguin to create this. I just like it. Okay. 38 is my pickled pink storage box. And I brought this from my studio. Currently, all of my tie-dye stuff is homeless because of this video. It's one of the first things that I've painted for my studio. So it also holds a special place in my heart. Number 37 is my blue apron. I customized two aprons in a video and made it a contest between the two designs. So technically the two aprons did tie. But after sitting on it for a little while, I realized that I definitely like the other one more. However, I do like how this came out, mostly because of the story between the characters. Number 36 is my little chocolate box. It's not that skillful or that creative or crazy, but look at that whipped cream. It's delicious. I just really like it. I'm sorry if you disagree. I decide. Number 35 is Galacticat and Mr. Feats. I don't know about Mr. Feats, if he's a presence that I really want in my life, but he exists. Even even though I'm not number one Mr. Feats fan, Galacticat I feel like turned out pretty amazing. I'm going to use Desdemona as the representative for number 34. I turned myself into the donut queen. There were quite a few different components to that that I spent time 
making this year. I had a lot of fun with that video and you guys really liked it. The intensity of praise was like, wow. Thank you. Do I need to be the donut queen like every day? Number 33 is my artwork of Nothalophagus. At the time that I made this, I was testing a new art supply and it did not go according to plan at all. I wasn't a huge fan of this artwork. It became more special after the fact because I was making fun of it and calling it Nothalophagus on planet Nothalophagus. What did I say? Nothalophagus? I ended up referencing that later and it became like a whole thing. Number 32 is my set of clay cupcakes. These freaking cupcakes, I kept switching them lower in the ranking and then somehow they would make their way back up. Apparently, I just have some love in my heart for these cupcakes. They made it, okay? They've made it. I'm acting like this is like a super high achievement, but we're still only in the 30s. Number 31 is my set of peg dolls. I tried to do something different with all of them and so I kind of went with like different colors than normal, different animals than normal. I still really like them and I still really like the idea that I went with, but because they're not exactly my go-to love style, they're not as high on the list as I think they could have been. Number 30 is Flabellina. Visually, I love this one. I just think it's so freaking cute. However, it was a really quick project for me. I don't feel like it really deserves to be as high as it is, but also I just love it. So she makes it really high on the list. And as I'm talking about this, I just realized I did miss something. So I said that there were 56 items. There's actually 57. You'll see that later. I'll just kind of scooch in with that one. Number 29 is another clay cupcake. However, this one is bedazzled. Uh, not actually. I actually did put a lot of effort into this clay cupcake. However, I do feel like this is going to be an unpopular opinion because I don't think that many people really liked it. <laughs> I saw a lot of people saying like, oh, you should have done this, you should have done that. Why didn't you do this? Why didn't you do that? Everyone's hating on the unicorn cupcake, but I personally really still like it. Next was a digital art project. I designed these decals to decorate my laptop. It's a lovely sound. They are still on my laptop. I look at these every day and I still like them. Number 27 is my big old sloth. I called this the not board sloth. There was a name that everyone was like, why didn't you name her this? I'm pretty sure it was Scribbles because there are scribbles all over her and she scribbles. Scribbles. So everyone really was upset that I didn't name her Scribbles, but guess what? Her name is Scribbles, okay? Y'all get very intense over the weirdest stuff. Number 26. And you see why the number is only in the 50s of things that I made this year because we're like literally grouping whole towns as one item. I made all of these little houses from the dollar store based on my characters. I had a ball designing these. Number 25 is my create this book. And there are lots of pages in here that I did, but I'm just putting the whole book as one item. I've done this a little bit differently. Usually I do like three pages an episode and I spend a really long time on each page. I've just been doing quick art in this book. You're not gonna see the most fantastic art in this book. <laughs> Uh, yeah. But this one makes it high on the list just because the experience of making this was so much fun. Also, it was the starting place for one of my favorite characters of the year, Lemon. Also, I realized that I've literally not done a single page of Create This Book 2 this year. I felt like that series was very much so alive and well. Apparently I've neglected it for an entire year. Number 24 is my tie-dyed dessert burrito shirt. Speaking of the things that I made in my Create This Book, it's something that I brought back from that series and turned into like some legit art. I mean, you know, as legit as my art gets. It's not that impressive, but you know, it's it. I, whatever. No more disclaimers. Number 23 is my set of little dessert keychains. They're still new and exciting to me because I just did this pretty recently. So probably why they're so high on the list. Similarly, Bunny Christmas, okay? Another new one that's still pretty fresh on my heart. Now, I will address that the original squishy was a cinema roll squishy, which I did not know is actually a dog. So of course I was calling it a bunny the whole time because, well, it looks everything like a bunny. Many people highly annoyed and angry at me over that. Now, let me apologize 
apologize. Yet again. For mislabeling a cartoon fantasy animal. Number 21 is another bunny. It's strawberry. I wanted to say strawberry, but it's not strawberry. It's strawberry bunny. Some of you were pointing out that I missed the opportunity to call her straw bunny. Several years ago, I named a character straw bunny. This one is a straw bunny. So this cannot possibly be straw bunny. Her name is just strawberry. She is fashionista cousin of lemon. It's still kind of on my heart to one day make lemon as a squishy. Number 20 is a bunch of things. This is a group of five. Really, that's a lot. Any one of these could not hold this rank on their own, okay? It's the fact that they're coming in five strong, but um, I'm still gonna give it to them. Also, the fact that these squishies were revived from my very old squishy collection. It was like a sentimental thing. Number 19 is the drawing that I did of the Sky Bears. It is the winner of the flat artworks. I really like how this came out. I also really liked bringing back the Sky Bears and drawing their full designs. I had a lot of fun doing this. Number 18 is the set of Nipple Babies. You guys begged me to make over the Nipple Babies and I think for the most part, people were happy to see what I did with them. These are so weird. I still really like them. I feel like I came up with a concept that was like somewhat unique. Number 17 is my pink apron design. I just really love how this came out. I feel like it looks so good on. I was kind of sad that the one that I liked much better didn't involve my characters. Number 16 is my other big storage box that I customized for my studio. And look at this, things are getting so hectic. I'm a sucker for all the characters crammed together. You put that on anything and I'm gonna love it. Number 15 is my customized purse that I made in a thrift store makeover. This design was very controversial. <laughs> Some people absolutely loved it and some people hated it, which I kind of expected because it is honestly obnoxious. I embrace the obnoxion, but I understand that this one was not everyone's cup of tea. Number 14 is this little precious thing, Celia Evangelina Diamethys. Don't forget the name. Ever. I also formed her by hand out of clay. I'm not great with clay, but I made her and there's something special about that. Number 13 is Catty Cake. Catty Cake is a lot. It's it's very over the top, but that's part of the reason why I love it, okay? It's just got so much. And number 12 and uh. a half. <laughs> Squeezing it in there in between two numbers because this is the one that I forgot. Almost. Good thing I didn't leave this out because I actually really love this. This is Flobby. It is a blob flower hybrid. The flobs will be back next year because I just love flobs. Number 12 is Jerry the Cherry with a butt crack. This was a thrift store makeover. It was supposed to be about this cupcake, but it totally became about the little blob of clay that I put on top of it, made into a cherry and called Jerry. The cherry with a butt crack. Number 11 is the last of the painted tie-dye lemon. You guys have an enormous amount of love for lemon. Also, the angry lemon is in this shirt and we all know that he's an angry lemon. He's an angry lemon. I just get choked up every time I sing that song. Number 10 is Jimmy and Company. This really random item that I got from a thrift store and turned into this special thing. The reason this one is ranked so high is mostly because of Jimmy and his is face. Greatness is written all over his face. Number nine, ooh, we're getting in the single digits, is Kathy. Kathy's also very fresh, but I feel like I'm gonna be bringing her back. Just look at that face. Number eight is Tiger and Chubbs, the dessert fraternal cat twin set that stole all of our hearts. This is just kind of a collection of things that I love. Cats, desserts, twins. I just love these two. Number seven is the design I made to include all of my characters. It's a digital drawing that I did, and I did put it on some t-shirts for my store. In the video where I designed this, it was my intention to try to include every single character that I've ever designed. I realized very quickly that that was pretty much impossible to do in one video. This is not all of them, but it's a good amount. Number six, and whoa, how did this tiny little thing beat all of this stuff? Number six is Derek. Every year there's like a handful of characters 
characters that are just like, they're gonna be here for a while. And Derek is definitely one of them. He is the child of Shelly and Eustace. He's known to be very mischievous. Number five is a digital drawing and I made it as my desktop wallpaper. I do still have it as my desktop wallpaper. Can you see it? I feel like it's pretty well drawn and it's something that I took a lot of time to do. Number four is mega chubs. I don't know if I've done a video where you can see me holding him to see just how large this is, like. <laughs> He's mega. I just wish that I could bring Mega Chubbs to life so I could hug him. One thing I will point out is that Mega Chubbs does not have whiskers and you guys were very, very upset about that. And so many people were pointing out that I forgot the whiskers. I didn't forget the whiskers. I intentionally didn't add them. However, I did forget that it was gonna be a big deal. I actually preferred him without the whiskers. He did have whiskers when he was regular Chubbs, but when he became Mega Chubbs, they just popped off. <laughs> It's funny though, because when I brought Mega Chubbs back on the storage bin, I did ah. add whiskers because I didn't feel like being ranted at again. Does Mega Chubbs have whiskers? Does he not have whiskers? Do we need to talk about this? Number three is definitely kind of different and I wasn't exactly sure what to put and where to put this one. This is the app that I released this year called Spark, which is a fun creativity app. And I only ended up making two artworks in video for Spark, but I've made so many art works for Spark this year. So I'm just gonna put number three as my entire Spark gallery. The artworks that I've made in Spark are like faster, easier kind of artworks that I've just done for fun, but I've had a complete blast. I'm probably gonna use some of the ideas that I've made in Spark artworks and like bring them back for other projects. Oh, okay. Number two is something that I cannot bring into this room because it is on a wall. Number two is the giant mural that I painted at my studio, which is a completely separate location from where I am right now. I painted a mural for the first time this year and it was super exciting and I had kind of a lot of fun with it. It was also kind of miserable at points because I had to stay up all night to do it. But uh, I don't know. I just like feel very proud of my first mural. And number one, the winner of this year is another thing that I'm not gonna bring in the room. <laughs> Technically I could, but it is so large that it would just take up the entire frame. It is my claw machine. The claw machine was the largest three dimensional item that I've ever painted in my life. It was the crazy the idea of the year to buy a full-size claw machine and then customize it. And it was a three-part video that took up a month of my content this year. I came up with six unique characters just for this claw machine that I love. The alien bean bodies will be back. <sighs> I am in a sea of items. In the beginning of the video, before I had everything around me, I felt like 56 or 57 items was not that many for a year, but now that I'm looking at it, and there are things that aren't even here because they're painted on walls or painted on claw machines. This was a lot. This has been a big year. With that, this video is coming to a close. This year is coming to a close. And I will say for those of you who have stuck around to the end, thank you so much. I appreciate you. Don't forget that you will not see me next week, but I will be back on the 13th with my regular content. Thank you so much for sticking with me and let's go to 2023. I will see you next time, guys. Bye.